The maintenance on our roads and bridges is just the most obvious example of our infrastructure need. But that is just a sliver of the entire infrastructure picture. Part of what has led to our infrastructure crisis is that what is out of sight tends to stay out of mind until that is this happens. For those of you who don't recognize it, that is uh, the now bank alley. 2014 was a milestone year in this regard. Last year, we experienced 391 separate water main breaks, an all-time record. This number was a 10% increase over the previous year, a 41% increase over 2011, and a 46% increase over the average from 2006 through 2013. During a five-day period from January 29th to February 2nd of last year, we had 22 different breaks the repair of which cost the city more than $205,000. Both the numbers and the images are astounding. A recent service call in the Inner Harbor caused our water department crews to discover an active pipe that dated back to 1893. Now I ask you to think about this, the presence of water pipes from 1893 in a part of our city that is experiencing the birth of a brand new mixed-use neighborhood. This exhibits how aging infrastructure is a mismatch for the 21st century needs. The frequency of breaks and the limited nature of resources have dictated a pay-as-it-breaks approach to water service, but we are determined to do better. Our water department has just recently kicked off an effort to develop an asset management plan for the city's water system. And this plan will de detail system needs, prioritize critical investments, and enable us to begin shifting from reactive emergency repairs to proactive system improvements.